Hello and welcome back to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the loop section. This is looping through arrays. For loops are very handy for iterating over data structures. For example, we can use a for loop to perform the same operation on each element on an array. Arrays hold lists of data like customer names or product information. Imagine we owned a store and wanted to increase the price of every product in our catalog. That could be a lot of repeating code. But by using a for loop to iterate through the array, we could accomplish this task easily. To loop through each element in an array, a for loop should use the arrays.length property in its condition. Check out the example below to see how for loops iterate on arrays. We have const, animals. It's assigned an array with grizzly bear, sloth, and sea lion in it. We then say for let i be assigned to 0 as long as i is less than animals.length increment i by 1. We then log animals with index i. This example would give you the following output grizzly bear sloth and sea lion and that's because in the loop above we've named our iterator variable i this is a variable naming convention you'll see in a lot of loops when we use i to iterate through arrays we can think of it as being shorthand for the word index notice how our stopping condition checks that i is less than animals.length remember that arrays are zero indexed the index of the last element of an array is equivalent to the length of that array minus one if we try to access an element at the index of animals.length we would have gone too far. With for loops, it's easier for us to work with elements in arrays. We have our instructions. Write a for loop that iterates through our vacation spots array using i as an iterator variable. Inside the block of the for loop, use console log to log each element in the vacation spots array after the string I would love to visit. For example, the first round of the loop should print I would love to visit Bali to the console. So if we zoom out, we can do that here. Look at our example. Do that here. And they wanted that string as well. So that should loop through our array and add I would love to visit each time it goes through the loop. Let's run that. And it does pass. So the important thing we're learning here is how to loop through an array. We used our for loop and we're able to use i to hold place of our index and the dot length property to know the size of our array and we would be able to go through that as long as the condition is true once our index is not less than our length the loop should stop make sure to practice looping through arrays of different sizes to make sure you really get this before moving on once you feel comfortable looping through arrays i'll see you in the next lesson